On the 18th of August and this present year, the fair do wander crew down to Ross Lair did stare. The wind it was high, but the weather was grand, and the view of the race was tip top to the strand. Now we left the fair do in the pier head one night, and to our surprise she was their delight. They moulded her model and measured her mast, and they said between themselves, sure we'll build one as fast. Now the pair and Rosslair men were there in their cots. The big bugs were sailing around in their yachts. But the crowd down from Wexford all gave a hurroo when they saw Eddie Daly try out the fair do. When we went to get measured, we all got a fright. For the bloke on the job did not pull the tape tight. Twenty-one foot three inches, he shouted out clear. She has stretched five inches more since we sailed to the pier. Now the Spitfire coxswain, he got a bit hot. When he saw the fair do overhaul in his cot, he hauled twice across us, so said, I won't let you out. Sure, we bid him goodbye when we hoved her about. Now when we went to winter, to oh boys, it was grand to see the fair do bitten into the strand. When we rounded the last by, the homeward was clear. The Spitfire still had her head to the pier. Now we lodged an objection soon after the race. Although his fast cart could not take second place, we'll meet him again when we saw her in two. And we'll bring back the cup in the clipper fair do. And now I will tell you the name of the crew. Eddie Daly, John Welsh and his brother Jim too. When the sail passed the flag but the cheering was great and the Spitfire passed it four minutes too late. When the boys came ashore and stepped out on the strand, the boys down from Wexford shook them all by the hand. Well, it was a great race, boys, but between me and you, I doubt they had steam in the clipper fair do. How was that?